Hello there, hola, and welcome back to Benidorm and Beyond, my original Benidorm channel since 2020. Brought to you by me, an English woman who's lived right here in this resort for well over 20 years, and whose aim is to bring you fun, interesting and informative regular vlogs about your favourite tourist city, so let's get started. Today's vlog takes you on a walk along Cay Girona, or the Strip, by night, showing you lots of the things that there are to see and do, even in this slightly quieter month of March, and also showing that there's still plenty to come over for, especially if you can get a bargain mini-break deal. With this footage all having been filmed on Sunday the 3rd of March, it was really noticeable that the resort has picked up this weekend, with dozens of stag groups and hen parties descending on the resort, to join in the neon fun and noise of this party street and surrounding areas, and let off some steam for a while, in true Benidorm style. And with the Cheltenham week and Paddy's Day not far off either, both of which see huge amounts of holiday makers come over specifically for these events, it's only going to get busier, and amen to that after the low season period after Christmas and the New Year. We started today at the popular Med 23 pub along the Avenida del Mediterraneo, just one street away from the Strip, and then after walking to the next corner, we see the Silver City Bar at the bottom of Avenida de Mallorca, better known as the Square, and then follow the road up, passing Chaplin's Cabaret Bar as we go, which has adult shows on every night, as well as Tony, the little big man in the early hours, who I believe can be seen walking along on the street in front of me. We also see the Broadway, which is still undergoing extensive renovations to its premises, as you can see by the debris lying about inside, as well as the iconic Zodiac show bar on the corner. And then when we see the fabulous light shows and LED screens of the railway bar, we know we have reached the strip itself. Carrying on, we'll pass loads of your much-loved pubs and bars along the way, including the Queen's Arms and the Rose and Crown, with the sports and karaoke bar of Rockies still remaining closed at the moment. Just after the four-minute mark, we'll reach the junction with Avenida de Filipinas, where you can find the Outback Bar, the Loch Ness and the Royal Arrow, and which also houses some of the resort's most well-known hotels, which are perfectly located for holidaymakers who come to make the most of Benidorm's vibrant nightlife, which include the Gold Arcos, whose semicircular balconies you can see lit up in beautiful colours, as well as the Presidente opposite, and further down, the Venus, the Helios and the Pueblo, all just along from the site where the bi-weekly outdoor market is held on a Wednesday and Sunday morning. Crossing over, we'll then see the Red Lion with its mechanical bull just ready to tip off a young man giving it his all to stay on, and then the busy cabaret and music venues of Rockefellers, where you can find tributes to Pink, Lady Gaga and Neil Diamond amongst others, along with the irreverent comedian Tony Scott, and Jail Rock, which has a great selection of acts performing ska, northern soul and reggae, along with the fabulous duo The Fusion, who can literally play any style of music you want, but in this venue are currently showcasing their 70s show, which always gets everyone dancing along on the floor. Approaching Avenida de Almeria at the six minute mark, we see the illuminated rave cave of the Insomnia nightclub, and then as we carry along, we'll pass all of your favorite venues on this bustling stretch, including the Crown, Hotel California, and the Western Saloon, which were all blaring out live music, not forgetting, of course, that all this entertainment is completely free to watch, as long as you buy a drink, of course, and who wouldn't want to do that on a night out anyway? We'll then pass the countless neon Chinese shops, eateries and fast food takeaways, which always stay open until late to tempt in any last minute decisions of a souvenir purchase or a greasy but delicious kebab or burger to feast on and regret in the morning. And then further on, we'll walk by the Why Not Karaoke Bar and the newly modernized John and Joseph's as well as the Times Square Pub, along with the well-known hotels of the Riador and the Ambassador Playa 1 and 2, which are perfectly located for anyone who comes to town for Benidorm's roaring night scene. At the nine minute mark, you can see that the Waikiki Cocktail Bar has now reopened for the season, whilst next door the Last Stop Sports Bar was doing good business from its takeaway kiosk outside and also inside, which offers nightly karaoke and all the live sports. Finally, we end with the pirate ship-shaped cabaret bar of Morgan Tavern, which was transformed into the Neptune's nightclub in the ITV series Benidorm, which ran successfully for 10 years. And here you can choose from a huge variety of acts nightly, which now go on until after 2 o'clock in the morning. 
I'll now let you sit back and watch the rest of this nighttime stroll along Kea Girona or the strip with me. And if you like what you see, then please join me again in the future, as well as checking out some of my hundreds of other videos full of news and updates, more detailed street and beachfront walks, as well as reviews and tours of lots of local hotels, cafes, bars and new businesses. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you out and about next time. Maybe video along some of Benidorm Street or having a drink, who knows. Bye for now, take care and catch you again next time. Cheers! Thank <laughs> you.